Hello, 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 fellow Virgos. This is Nikki Virgo 111. Thank you all so much for transitioning with me from Nikki Virgo, uh, no, from Mystic Virgo 4444 to Nikki Virgo 111. I appreciate you all uh, for your support. Since I started my channel in July, you all have been my biggest supporters, and I really appreciate you for that. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you see it, I hope it resonates. Take what you need and leave the rest. All right. Got a moon card here. An unfair situation with this six of pentacles. Well, it could be better for you. Just you just don't know with this world card. You don't know if the tr the the path that you're on right now that you're leading that's pushing you to move forward in your life. You don't know how it's going to turn out. So it's making you a little nervous because you really don't know if you should keep giving here or, or give more there you don't really know okay the sun card eight of wands the ten of pentacles Let's clarify the moon card for virgos clarify the moon card for the virgos hung up in your head about it because you're not really sure and you are uh Focus on what you've been through in your past, uh, watching things pass you by, watching sh your ships have sailed, things have happened, things have been unfair for you, but the universe is telling Virgo, let the past go, because we got something new to work on, new pathways, new journeys, new decisions, uh, that's going to make you very, very happy, uh, you're going to get communication when it comes to more income, maybe a new job situation, more money, being more comfortable, being more confident, being happy, finally happy. Virgo is going to be happy. Cycles are changing. Your life is changing. Okay? Okay, Virgos, what's going on? Okay, we got the uh, Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups here. We have a uh, wish fulfillment for you. Okay? You, even though you have wish fulfillment and whatever it is is going to make you happy, you still going to got some, you have some people coming in your life wanting to ask, can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have that? Can you do that? Can I have one of your cups? Can I use one of your cups? Well, it's like, can I come over your house and borrow a cup of sugar? The next day, can I come over your house and borrow a cup of, of milk? Can I come over your house the next day and borrow a roll of toilet paper? Always asking for something because they know you got it. Very good because they know you'll give it to them. Stop giving so much of your stuff away. Stop giving so much of yourself away. Keep it for yourself. Be, not be selfish, Virgo, but damn. Stop giving so much of your stuff away. Money too. They don't give to you. Why do you keep giving to the same people over and over again and not expecting anything in return? Because you keep giving. Look, giving, 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 giving. You're still giving. Didn't I just tell you to stop? <laughs> oh, boy Virgo seven of pentacles it, you give when you don't even have it to give somebody come to you can I please have a couple of dollars to get the kids some bologna or, and bread or something or, or whatever okay I, I, got a, I got some rag bologna in the refrigerator now you can get it and you know damn well you ain't got no money in your pocket but you want to give this stuff to somebody else you're taking it away from your mouth to feed others Okay? Not saying don't be selfish, Virgo. I'm not saying that, but we give to, we give so much of ourselves away. What about us? When is somebody going to give to us when we don't have anything? Or when all of our cups are in, empty? When people give to us, they don't give as much as we give or gave. They give their very least. Even though they may have an abundance, they give you very, very little. When you really need them, they're not there for you like you are for them. They give you very little. They'll give you just enough. But you will give this, you'll give and give until you don't have any more to give. You give too much. To a source. And then when you when you don't have it to give, you can't you do sometimes you have to say, Well, I don't have it, even though you do. Even when you don't give to a person, it makes you feel bad. Like Dag, I should have gave. You feel conflicted. I should have gave him or her this. I know I had it. It makes you feel bad. I have the lover's card. Even in relationships, look, 
you give too much in relationships. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have did that. And you always end up walking away. Somebody end up walking away from you. And you always end up being the one hurt because you didn't gave too doggone much. And you conflicted. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have did that. I should have did this. I should have whatever. And they walk away and you end up being hurt. Okay. Or it's the same rotation with you. You conflicted because of what you've been through in your life, and you're the person who's always given your all in relationships. You leave one relationship and go to another, end up getting hurt again. Same, same thing. You left a relationship because the person was being unfair, and you were giving too much, and you turn right back around and do the same doggone thing. That's the right one, you. Giving yourself away constantly. What about people giving to you for a change? Okay, Virgo. This is what you get, the tower moment. A lot of you are in the tower moment right now because of what you've been through. Either a self-induced tower moment or a tower moment produced by, by the universe so you can fix what's broken or fix what's not right in your life. Start over. Starting all over from scratch because you put yourself out there too many times and you keep on getting hurt. You keep on putting too much of yourself out there. And people just take away People take away because you give it to them. Stop giving, they'll stop taking. <laughs> stop having a bleeding heart, Virgo. See? Even when you at your look, even when you don't have nothing, even when you when you don't have anything to give, people still knock knock on your door. Can I have this? Can I get that? Do you got this? Do you got that? They already have it. Or they can get it somewhere else, but they choose to get it from you because you keep giving it to them. They can have, they can get it from other places, but they choose to get it from you because they know you're not going to question them. They know you're going to do it because you got a bleeding ass heart. Virgo. But what about you? Bleeding hearted Virgo. Even when you don't have it, you give. And you still, when you don't have it, you give in the midst of your suffering. But you suffer even more when they come and take what you give them. But if you don't give them what they ask for or very close to it, you, you feel even worse because you don't like turning people away. You don't like saying no. Oh, gosh, you cut out people. In situations that no longer serve you, learn how to say no. Don't feel bad for not saying, not, not, don't feel bad, Virgo, for turning people away. Okay? And then you feel bad when you can't help people out. You cut people out, you tell them no to go somewhere else. And when they leave disappointed because you wouldn't help them, you feel guilty about it. But what about you? You cry over what you couldn't do for other people, but what about people doing for Virgo? You give too much of yourself away, Virgo. Cheer up. You need to figure out a way to um, keep people out of your pockets. You know, um, people depend on you a little bit too much, and, and it hurts you. You get down. You get sick. You get stomach aches. You get heartburn. Uh, people just, just, just take, take and take and take too, too much from you. The universe is telling you no matter what these people do to you, you still come back up and you the come back kid. You keep on moving forward. And you may not feel like everything is okay right now because you're probably in a tower moment and you're tired of, of hurting and you're probably in some pain and heartache and everything. But the universe wants you to know your world is going to be just fine. Don't worry about it. You know, you're going to worry because you're a Virgo, but everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be just fine when you stop giving too much away. Everything's going to be fine if you stay in hermit mode for a while. Heal what's broken here with this tower moment. And stop letting people come and take from you when you at your worst. And stop feeling bad about telling people no. Don't let people keep taking from you, Virgo, when you're at your worst. Because they will come and take, take, and take. If this, if this... <laughs> if the people who come to ask you for stuff, if they can come and ask you for a cup of light... You would give it to them. If they want to ask you for a cup of gas, like how you light your stove, they'll come and get it from, from, for you. They can look at your freezer and see that you probably have a couple, of, maybe three or four hamburger patties in there. They want three of them for their kids. But what about you? What about your family? 
They take your last because you let them. They take your last Virgo because you feel bad if you don't give it to them. But what about you? Think about the things that you've done for people when you know that you really couldn't do it, but you did it anyway. Anyway, <clears throat> you did it anyway, and you suffered because you helped them. What about somebody helping you? You have an ego. You don't want to ask for help, but you sure in the hell know how to give it. And give it and give it and give it until you ain't got no more. Because you're the star. Everybody takes from you because they know you'll give it. <sighs> And when you give it, and when you give it all, you can give the clothes off your back. And you don't have anything else you up. Like, damn, why did I do that? I know I didn't have no money to next pay that. I know I couldn't do this. I know I didn't do that. Then you start worrying about you and your needs. But you didn't give your stuff to somebody else to keep them warm. What about you staying warm? What about you eating? What about you paying the light bill or the gas bill? Putting food on the table. Because you didn't give it all to somebody else. Messages for the Virgo. You really, really take it to heart helping people, and that's fine. I understand. But sometimes you got to let somebody help themselves out, okay? You let stuff, you let, you, you have a bleeding heart, okay? You may get a text from somebody, and they say, well, you know what, um, I'm, I'm, I don't have no food. I don't got, I haven't got my food stamps or no money or whatever the situation is. And they're like, man, you know, um, they may say my lights are off. You know, you look online at their gas bill and pay the gas bill for them. Everything okay with them. Everything fine. As soon as they get their shit back up, they bounce and they out. But they leave your ass behind because you gave them your last and you helped get their lights cut back on. And then when they get their lights cut back on, they get that extra money in your pocket, in their pocket, tax money or whatever, and overabundance of income for them, and you still struggling, Virgo, you think those people going to help your ass out? Hell no. They're going to leave your ass behind. The same way you should have left them behind. They don't care. They come to Virgo because they know Virgo has a bleeding heart, and Virgo is going to do it because of their bleeding heart. But it's a burden for Virgo because Virgo keeps giving and giving and giving like the energized damn bunny. You give too much. Heal what's broken, Virgo, inside of you that you feel that you have to keep, that you have to be Captain Save a Hole. Excuse my expression. You don't have to keep giving. People are not going to give to you. I'm not saying be selfish. Just be a little bit more sens sensible when it comes to your well-being. Oh, Virgo. Two of Cups. Four of Pentacles and a Magician. You give too much in love. You give too much in your friendships. You give too much in everything. But what about somebody giving to you for a change? Why is it that when you ask for something, when you have a little, people say, well, I don't, I don't have it. I got to do this. Or I don't have it. I got to do that. And then you stuck with what little you have. Because you keep taking a leap of faith and helping people. People take you take a leap of faith to help other people, but when it comes to people taking a leap of faith to you, they 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 freeze up. I started to say something else, but my daughter over there, <laughs> they freeze up. They don't want to help. They want to stand there. I don't have it. I don't have it. I can't do this. I, I but they have it because they're they're the emperor or the empress, and they have it to give. A lot, but they choose not to because they take their shit and go somewhere else. They have their blessings and they go somewhere else, away from Virgo. When Virgo really needs somebody, they ain't there. This emperor goes and flies the coops and give their blessings to somebody else and leave Virgo in the lurch. Got to figure out what you're going to do, Virgo. You're going to stay in a happy situation? Or are you going to take it upon yourself? No, you're going to stay in a sad situation or take it upon yourself and leave? You need to figure it out. Okay, because you have love, you have uh, you know, and an, an opportunity for you to move forward in your life separately from you always taking somebody else's problems and making them your own. You have the ability to help others, but make sure you have the ability to help yourself. Think about others if you must, but what about yourself? Where are you headed here? You help everybody else. You make everybody else's home happy. You make everybody else's house a home. That's done. Okay, but what are you doing for you? Where are you headed in your life? What leap of faith are you taking to make a better life for yourself and your family and your sanity and your feelings? Where are you headed? If you keep doing what you're doing, 
keep giving and giving and giving and not accepting help from others or not requiring others to help you, where are you headed? Got the magician and the ten of swords. Where are you headed if you don't start looking out for yourself? Where are you headed, Virgo, if you don't start looking out for yourself? You need to find a way to um, stop having such an enormous bleeding heart for everybody else. What about you? Who's going to have a bleeding heart for Virgo? Figure it, figure it out. Figure it out. Because right now, you got some shit going on that you need to deal with. Okay? Okay.